Hi guys, I'm the Illusionist and today I'm going to teach you how to control a card to the bottom or the top of a deck. So yeah, let's get started. So the first one is called the double undercut. So let's say the Ace of Spades is a spectator's card. So I'll put it in the deck near the top and I'll push it in by pushing down if I want to control it to the top like this. So I have a thumb break. I hold the deck in build grip. And now I take about half the cards of the bottom part, I put them on the top, and then I take the part with a break, I put it on the top, and now I have the ace of spades at the top of the deck. This technique is very useful if you don't have a table, because you can just do it in the air. So if you want to control it to the bottom, it's nearly the same, you put it near the top, like this, but you push it up, up, and in, so you have a thumb break, you take half of the bottom pack, you put it on the top, you take the bottom pack, you put it on the top, now look, the ace of spades is on the bottom. Let's get to the second one. The second one doesn't have a name, but I showed it to you in many videos. So if you want to control the card to the top, you put it near the bottom, like this, you push it in, by pushing down like this so you have a thumb break and you leave the top deck and it will fall on your pinky so now you have a pinky break but to do this you need a table so let's get to the end now you cut in a few parts like this and look the ace of spades is at the top if you want to control the card to the bottom put the ace of spades near the top in the deck you push it in by pushing up, like for the double undercut, you catch your pinky, and first you put the pinky part with the ace of spades on the bottom on the table, and then you do as many cuts as you want. And now look, the ace of spades is at the bottom. The third one. For the third one, you need to catch a front break of the bottom card like this, you first you peel down the last card so you catch the pinky and transfer the pinky into your front brick like this and now you swing cut about half of the cards like this you take it in your left hand and you ask them to put the ace of spades right there of course you don't know it's the ace of spades and you push it like this to show them that card is on the top of this deck and when your thumb touches the bottom deck and you can't go any further just leave the card you had in your break and it will simply fall on the deck so now they think the ace of spades you show it like this is at the top when actually it's second from the top and while they're watching it you push it down like this and you take you say you take the ace of spades the first card which is actually the six of hearts you put it in the deck like this and don't forget to put the left hand deck on the top and so now you have the ace of spades on the top the fourth one so for this one I won't take the ace of spades because it will be a bit complicated so you go through the cards and you ask them simply to touch one let's say they touch this one and so now you try to you you leave you must see the second card. If they want this one, you must see this one. And now you try to square up by simply moving with your third finger or middle finger, it doesn't matter, and your thumb, so that it's more or less squared up. And it will look like this. And from the front, you can see two cards, but you won't show it. And to show the card, because they won't take it, what you do is you hold firmly the card with your third finger, like this, and you you peel away the first card, the one that they want, like this, and from the front they won't see it, and so you show them the second card, six of spades, and you put it in, like this, it's a bit like the last one, and so now you say you're going to put it in this deck, when it's actually the seven of spades, and you put it there, don't forget to put the left hand deck on the top, and now the chosen card, the six of spades, is on the top. So, the fifth one. For this one, 
we're allowed to use this as spades. So it starts a bit like the double undercut, but I recommend you put it near the middle, like this. You push down and you catch your front break. And now you swing up about, this one is harder. You swing up about half of the top packet. You take it in your left hand and you swivel cut. You, If you don't know what swivel cut is, you take your index finger and you put it there at the, the near your thumb on the top break like part like this and simply you make it rotate around your middle finger and your index like this and make it fall on this leg and then the part with the ace of spades on the top just leave it like this so I'll show it to you again at full speed it's quite it's quite cool, it looks like this. And so yeah, so there's a second version and for this we'll ask them to take a card. Let's see, the nine of spades. And you put it near the middle or near the top, it really doesn't matter, like this. You push it down so you have your break. And what you do, this one is a bit harder, you have your pinky break. And you take the pinky break part like this with your thumb. You make it you make it fall, but at the same time you catch it with your three last fingers like this. And so it's it's like this. And you put your index finger on the face of the card, like this, and you catch it so that it's on the same side. Then you curl your index finger with the left hand and you you go through a few cards and you make them fall but you catch them with the three fingers like this you put you uncurl your first finger from the right packet like this you put it there and now you put everything back and the nine of spades is on the top I'll show this to you again you put it near the top like this you push down you catch your pinky, you take the pinky part with your thumb, you catch it with your three fingers and the index on the face and your thumb. You make you go through the cards, they fall on your three fingers. You put this deck in the middle, you go back, and the nine of spades is on the top. At full speed, it looks like this. Whoops. And now the nine of space is at the top. So yeah, I hope the, um, these help you. And now it will be easier for you to control cards. And there will even be fancy ways, like I taught you. And uh, if it helped you, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.